Hey everybody, Cool Dads here again. I watched a video this morning, went through my Facebook feed about a bacon potato cheddar tart. Three of my favorite food groups, bacon, potato, and cheddar. Can't beat that. Uh, Chef Michael Smith is the one to put it out there, and I'm doing a video simply to put it out there that anybody can do this. Um, I don't have any culinary background. I'm not a chef. I haven't gone to culinary school. I'm going to make this happen though. Got my plate. I don't have a stock pan he uses. Bacon, potatoes, parchment paper. I'm going to start by getting the parchment paper ready. Literally just got this from the store, so it's still got the little tape holding it together here. Watch me fight with the tape. Okay. And got it. It's the tough things in life you deal with. So I'm going to pop this back in the holder here, the box. Measure out. I measured out enough to cover my bow and then some. Then we're going to fold it in half. This is the same technique he uses in his video. In half again. So I fold it in half twice. Now I'm going to fold it on one corner point. Three. There we go. Just like he did it. Trauma shears, because hey, what kitchen is complete without trauma shears? So I'm going to pump this right into the middle here. Go to the center. Bring that up so y'all can see. I'm going to go just a tad above the edge to be on the safe side. Look, Ma, I made a doily. Okay. Wow, just like he said, doesn't stick in there. One second. And guess what I didn't get at the store? My no-stick spray that he used. However, I have a little bit of vegetable oil that I can pop in here, so I'm going to grab that. Try to remember which cabinet it's in. Okay, a little bit of vegetable oil. Less CFCs for the ozone layer this way. I'm actually just going to use my finger and kind of spread that around the bottom there, splash it all over myself because, hey, why not? Makes life more interesting. Paper towel time. Okay, now put this back in here. Hmm. It works. Okay. Now, I'm going to open up a pack of bacon. And if you can hear my miniature poodle in the background barking, he's old, he's cranky, that's how he is. But, okay. Now, I'm going to do this alternating bacon layer or something to that effect. So put this in the center and I'll show you guys with this in just a minute. I'm just going to get a couple pieces in here and then I will show you what I'm doing. Okay, piece number three. Okay, now, he did warn you have to be careful not to end up with a big lump in the middle. So, I'm going to take the towel so I don't get my tablet all greasy. 
Here's what I've done so far. That's the first three slices. Put them in the middle. I kind of shuffle one, you know, shuffle them back a little bit here and there so I've got space. Um, and don't end up taking up the whole thing in a big pile of bacon in the middle. So I'm going to pause this for a moment. I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, I'm back again. I'm going to tell you something. Laying the bacon out and the, the, the laying the bacon out like that, yeah, it's interesting. Takes a little bit of work, takes a little bit of figuring. There you go. <laughs> I got the bacon out there. So now I'm going to move on to potatoes. I'm going to bring you over here with me and try. Yeah, that's not going to happen too well. Um, I'm bring you over here with me. See if we can get this set up so you can see. Now I don't have the cool fancy filming people, so I got to kind of make do with what I got here. Um, I'm using plain white potatoes here. I'm um, just cutting thin slices, like they say in the video. I'll show you the slices in a second. Um, as far as the bacon, I wasn't thinking about it and realized as I went into the second pack that we buy the thick cut bacon. I think it'd probably be a little bit easier if you don't have thick cut bacon. But anyway, potato slices. Then, start putting them in. And uh, I, like I said, I just use regular white potatoes. That's what I had on hand. Um, let's see. There's one. The first, and these aren't, you know, they're not huge or anything, so I'm going to use a few of them. And this is the fun part cutting. I'd talk more, but you know, I don't want to lose a finger in the process, so. Layer these in. Once I get these layered in, I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you what it looks like here. Okay. One more. Almost made it with two. And I'm, I'm just tossing the little butt ends because um, I don't know if I really want them in there, but that's my personal opinion. If you like those ends of the potatoes, feel free to throw them in there. The whole point to this is having fun and making something that's fun to eat, and uh, you probably need to spend a good hour in the gym afterwards to make sure you work off all those calories. <laughs> okay, I have my first layer of potatoes in. I'm gonna grab another paper towel here. Um, okay, first layer of potatoes is in. If I can figure out how to point the camera at it, first layer of potatoes is in now. Get this set back up here. Uh, let's see. I have oh, crouch down here. Oh. I'm still here. Sorry about that. If you get a little bit of whiplash from the falling over, I apologize. I'm literally taking a pinch of salt over the potatoes and sift. Don't choose poor. There we go. Sift side of the pepper. And I'll show you guys this again in a minute. I'm not so fancy that I use a pepper pepper grinder. Eh, that's a major. A little bit of seasonings there. There we go. One of these days I'm going to have to get myself a filming crew so I can do things like this. But until then, y'all get to deal with me going in and out of frame and dropping the I'm dropping my tablet. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm obviously not going to do as many layers as he does, but, um, and I just bought store brand shredded cheese. Um, altogether, I got four cups worth. I don't know if I'm going to need that much, but it was on sale, and I know it's something we'll use, so why not grab it? Now, I'm a little OCD about making stuff. I'm being a bit of a foodie. I want it to look right. Okay, first layer of cheese is on. There we go. Looking tasty. I'm going to pause this while I do the next couple of layers, and I'll come back once it's ready to wrap up. Okay, I got all my layers in here. Uh, I ended up doing four layers all together, so we're looking at a total about three cups of cheese, uh, shredded cheese, give or take a little bit. Uh, 
depending on the size of your potatoes, is how many potatoes. I'd recommend if you're going to do this, get yourself a bag of potatoes because you can always use potatoes. Potatoes are good food. So let me show you what I got. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. One thing I did that was not mentioned in the original video was I dusted the top layer with a little bit of garlic uh, powder because we like garlic. So just a touch of garlic in there. Now let me see if I can get this here so you can watch me do this. Sort of maybe, maybe. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, squish this down a tad and just start folding the bacon over. If you don't like handling bacon, this is not going to be a dish you're going to want to make. I know that. But, if you like bacon, which, you know, kind of, well, I won't say anything because I'm sure it'll offend somebody. And, you know, I'm trying to get away from that these days a little bit. I'm not politically correct by any stretch of the imagination if you haven't figured that out yet. So I'm just bringing these up and over. I'm just kind of making sure that the whole... Is, everything is covered here. It's kind of my goal. And boom. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the enormity of this project is just kind of hitting me right now. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks, but damn. Uh, <laughs> all I'm going to say is take a look at that. Now, <laughs> that's freaking insane. That is two pounds of bacon, um, about half a dozen smaller white potatoes, three cups of cheese, salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. Um, I used the parchment paper here so it won't stick to the pie plate. I used a pie plate because I didn't have the pan. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven now and due to the magic of the internet, um, I'll be pulling it out in about three seconds according to this. Um, in reality it will be about two and a half hours and I believe it's 350. I will confirm that when I come back on. Okay everybody, three seconds later because of the magic of the internet I have my film crew on hand, uh, the cool son, <laughs> is uh, holding the tablet now the video. I have my Christmas time because they're handy. I did pull this out. Um, I did, uh, will you guys hush? Love my dogs. They can be a real pain in the ass. Uh, I did pull it out um, and I drained it once. I'm redraining. Oh yeah. Now, uh, it's going to make a mess, but that's okay. Let me grab another plate out of the cabinet here. Okay, here comes the fun part. Gloved up. No glove, no love. Ugh. Okay, flipped it over. High plates off. Okay, just be careful when you're taking the paper off. It does look like it can stick a little to the bacon. You need to flip. Oh, good Lord Almighty. Uh, give me one second. I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup before I cut into it. Because it's easier to clean this stuff up when it's still a little warm. Still a little warm. Okay. Instead of waiting for it to dry. Okay. Now. Nerf. Fork. Yeah, good enough. Now, in the process of making this, cholesterol went up about 200 points. My blood pressure is up about 30 points. No, I'm kidding. Um, obviously, I wouldn't recommend eating this like every day, but
Yeah, I definitely need a sharp knife for this. Dogs are going to have a field day when they come out here. Uh, it's just like a pie. First slice never comes out right. You didn't see that. Nobody saw it, can't prove anything. So, I'm going to get the first slice here out. Oops, I think I got some of the bacon from the slice next to it. I don't know how he got out that first slice so perfectly, but you know what? The hell with it. A hot bow. Mm. Damn, that is tasty. There we go. I fixed the bacon. Um, wow, that's freaking awesome. I, I'm going to let it cool off a little bit before I eat some more because whew, that's warm going down. But like I said, the point to this is, there you go. The point to this is, I, with no culinary training, did this after watching the video on Facebook. Come back up to me. There we go. You can too. That being said, it's cool dad saying peace out. Make yourself some good food and enjoy your day.